Keepers of the Kingdom, Science Experiment Day 2. The first one we have here is called Going in Circles. Very simple prep on this one. You just need to get some paper plates that have a smooth edge in here. You don't want to get the ones that have all the ruffles in here because the marble, you're going to have a marble that has to go smoothly along this and just cut a quarter of it out. We're entering in Sir Isaac Newton here and Isaac Newton discovered some things about the physical realm that we now call Newton's three laws. And the first one is sometimes called the law of inertia, which says that an object in motion tends to stay at motion, an object at rest tends to stay at rest, unless acted on by an outside force. So we're going to let the kids experiment with that, with this marble. And what they're gonna do is they're just going to put the marble right at one of the edges after the cut, okay? And then they're gonna bat it and make it go around this plate. And the question will be, will it keep going in a circle? Or what is going to happen? And then we're gonna let them experiment and see what actually happens. So when they do that, they'll see that the marble, when it left the plate, it went straight. So you can explain to them that the force, there was a force acting on this marble that kept turning it kept it going in this circular pattern. And as soon as there wasn't that wall here to keep pushing it in, it just went in the last direction that it was going. So right here, it was heading that direction and it kept going. Now, we're going to do another one talking about this same law. This one is Newton's Cradle. It's not an official Newton's Cradle, but it's one that the kids can get to play with and see how it works. Now, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is make the frame for the cradle. So what I do first when I did these is I take the jumbo popsicle sticks or craft sticks, whatever you call them. I would glue two together with some wood glue. Okay, put the wood glue on, glue two together. I then put some tape around it just to make sure they stuck together because I was doing many, many, many all at one time. So then you can take the tape off after they've dried and you have, if you do it two times, so here's four, but they're stuck together in two, so I have two double stacks. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these double stacks and put these dowels on there. Now, if you don't have dowels or you know, something similar to this, it really doesn't matter as long as you have something that can give you these pillars that hold up the sides, the edges, the four corners. Okay, so we just used dowels at ours, and I used wood glue again to put the dowels, one on each end, not right at the end, a little bit in from the end, so that they look like this. And again, I used wood glue because it makes a much sturdier frame. Then after you have these made, you're gonna need two for each one, you can go a couple of different ways. You can either go ahead and add on your side supports here and here. Just glue these right to the side of that support. Um, another way to do it is rather than gluing these directly on here, you could have glued them directly onto your base. And then you could have put these onto here and then turn them over and put your supports, it's not glued on, <laughs> put your supports here and here. And the way I would do that is I would put these down, put the dabs of glue, and then put this on top of that. And then when it was down there, I would add these to the sides. And you will then have the frame, which is everything but these balls you see here, okay? I used colored popsicle sticks as my support sides just to make it a little more fun. Um, I bought them, you know, a whole bunch at a time. They would come colored. It's, you don't have to do that, totally up to you. I also bought my dowels pre-cut, so I didn't have to do any of that work. And also bases pre-cut from a company called woodpeckers.com. Um, it just saved a lot. We have a lot of kids at RVBS. It saved a lot of time having these things already cut for me. Okay, the next portion 
would be to put on your golf balls. You're going to take each golf ball and you're going to have your string that is already cut um, according to the instructions and you're going to put duct tape around. You can either go the whole way around or what we did is we had a strip and then two strips on the sides to hold it down. We did find that sometimes you do have to give these things a little extra push if you make them a, a long time in advance. This one was made last summer. I've had no problem that the tape has stayed on just fine. So that's just duct tape, white duct tape. Then you're going to take one of them. You're going to start with just one and you're going to put the string. You're going to use masking tape to secure the string and then secure, secure one side and then the other side so that it's right in the center. The way I did the first one is I went ahead and this string was off so when it would just barely hit the base I would attach one string. Then I would make it even in the center and attach the other string. So for the second one you can see here that when these are still they are touching but they are just barely touching. They're not pressing into each other at all. So if I move this string back just a little bit, they're not touching. So you want to attach your second ball with the strings, making sure, once again, that it's in the center. It's about the same height up and it's just barely touching that front ball. Okay, so Newton's first law then, his law of inertia. You can instruct the kids to pull one back and then let it go. Okay.